Hey guys, this is a, a short video to show you how Recall Check works within Home Inspector Pro. A few things that are important. First, to get it set up, go to Internet, click on Recall Check Login Information, and enter in your Recall Check username and password. This will allow you to connect to the Recall Check servers. If you don't have a Recall Check account, you can click this link right here. Uh, as long as you're a Home Inspector Pro user, Recall Check is free for you. So definitely click that link, get yourself set up, put in your name and password, and click on OK. Now, to add uh, or to assign your Recall Check photos uh, to the correct uh, appliance type and brand, you're going to do that on the Photo tab. So Photos, Add Review Photos. You can see on the top right here, there's an option that says Recall Check, Appliance Type, and Brand. If you don't see this, go down to Application Settings. And right here, you have Enable Recall Check Photo feature. So you can turn that on or off. You may need to restart HIP after you change that option so the, so the settings here show. Now, that will have it all set up on the desktop side. Most people are actually taking these photos directly within HIP Mobile. So the way that you're gonna do this is um, you can take the photos anywhere you would normally do. So if you're in the kitchen and that's where you like taking photos of all your data plates, that's where you can do it. Uh, in this example, I took them in the miscellaneous section, which is the photo, the camera icon right here on the main list of sections. These are photos that won't show in the report, um, but they're still usable and they're still saved. So you might want to save it in a section of the report and you do have the photo assigned to print in the report. That's fine. Uh, in this example, I have them already set up. So I have three photos that I took here uh, directly in mobile. And there's really nothing else we need to do from the mobile side. We just need to take the photos. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to upload these photos directly up into HIP Desktop. So I'm going to select that recall check inspection. I'm going to upload that to the cloud. And then now back on the desktop, I'm going to log in and grab that inspection. Over here to Mobile Sync, Download Inspections, Recall Check. I have a large uh, monitor here, so it's actually expanded this out of the screen, but click on Download to download that inspection. Just like normal, close that out. Now we're going to open that inspection up. Okay, now if I go look at my photo tab. Here's the three photos that I took. These are all three appliances. Well, you notice the recall check area is now no longer grayed out. I can select the appliance type. So for this one right here, I'm gonna go select uh, oven. Now this list of appliances comes directly from recall check. It's not something that we've coded in. Um, so once you put type that in, now for some you'll have uh, appliance types put in there automatically. For others, just type in the, the model, or sorry, the brand. So I'm going to come here. This is a refrigerator. Type in Samsung. This right here is a double oven. All right, so that's it. That's the only thing you need to do for each of these photos. Now we're going to go to report, uh, Internet, Recall Check Photo Upload. You don't need the data collection. That's actually the old method where you would manually type in the serial number as well. Uh, for now, you actually only need to use this photo upload method. It'll automatically show all the photos that you took, and you're simply going to click on Submit to Recall Check. Once you've done that, the, the recall check will be generated and sent out to your clients. Uh, if you're using any other RWS services, 90 day warranty or anything else, that'll actually trigger at the same time here that you upload this. And that's all you'll need. If you have any other questions regarding this, please let our staff know, support at homeinspectorpro.com. Give us a call or click on live chat on the website.